David Lowe, thank you for chat. Any thoughts on Woody Harrelson's truth bomb on SNL? I don't think uh, we watched mm. it. I didn't. I actually played it. I think I played it in our hotel room. And it's like a six minute, four, six minute, 45 second part of his monologue. And at the, the very last, maybe minute or so, is him going, Ugh, I'm pitching a movie. It's like everybody is locked down. And unless they. They participate and take a certain drug company's drugs and they've taken control of the media. They're not allowed out of their houses. And and, and of course, it's a New York City SNL audience. So they're going to be like a little like, Ugh, you know, because they're all fucking vaccinated and brain dead and uh, <laughs> 25 years old. Um, but I also feel like, yeah, dude, this is also kind of two years too late. It would have been nice to hear, you know, a whiff of this, you know, two, three years ago. Yeah, I saw the what you posted, Chrissy, on um on Twitter, like like the clip of it. That's all I've basically seen of it. And I thought the same thing. I was like, I mean, it's just a little too late for me. But. Yeah. But I mean, like some days I wake up and I'm like, oh, at least it's it's better late than never. And some days I'm like, shut the fuck up. All you should, <laughs> all you guys should have said like something two years ago. Exactly the same way. And he's clearly there to push and promote a movie. And I just yeah, and me and Lila were talking about this. We were like we were both, you know, talking about this and very vocal. Oh, here it is. And start reading. Okay, so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea of being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day long. Anyway. <laughs> there we go. Eh, I don't know. Me and Lana talked about this. We were like, as it becomes more comfortable and less gauche, mm. even to talk about, to shit talk the vax and the, the mandates and the lockdowns, like as that becomes less of a, um, a like threat, you know, safe review, basically. Yeah. More and more comedians are going to be like, yeah, we felt this way the whole time. This is bullshit. Fight the power, anti authority, all that. And we're going to be like rolling our eyes because, first of all, yeah, like where the fuck were you? Um, like you could have joined the fight with. A few of us that have been vocal about this the whole time. Oh, now that it's safe, you're going to be vocal about it. And also, yeah, it's like especially people like you, Chrissy, because you took a stance from the very, very beginning and you had like, you know, basically your career canceled because of this shit. And, and, and people like you have every right to kind of be pissed off about that because it's just like, you know, you stood up against that Ooh. shit. Lila wasn't even allowed in the comedy store. And that was like her home. She's there like four times a week. Yeah. And you had a fucking doctor's note. How yeah. have you not been on Joe Rogan yet, Lila Hart? Mm -hmm. We will. I know, yeah. right? You know what? Um, I think Please dress like this when you go on. Oh, my God. <laughs> that would be amazing. I, uh, it was really... It was really great, actually, that on Thursday night, Chrissy actually performed... Or no, it was Wednesday night. It was Wednesday night. At the comedy store. Yeah. Chrissy actually performed um, at the Comedy Store on Sam Tripoli's show. Shout out to Sam Tripoli. I was on his podcast just about a month ago, and it was really awesome. Um, and she was on the show, and I went to the Comedy Store, and this is the first time I've gone back since I wasn't allowed, allowed in over uh, in September of 2021 is that when that happened. And when I got there, everybody was just like, let me write in. Like, nothing happens, you know? And I was easily mm -hmm. let backstage, and got to see Chrissy, but it was a very kind of surreal moment because, you know, it was like, okay, so none of those things really mattered, you know? No. Yeah. And, uh, you try to fit, you try to extend some grace to these people. Like some of them were brainwashed. Some of them genuinely did feel like they were doing the right thing. Some of them, some yeah. people were genuinely worried for their health, but then there are the people that, you know, became kind of just like hall monitors on crack and, you know, used that as an opportunity to like wield power over others and that i don't like and you know they you know have these like doormen at the comedy store and the people are just doing their jobs like that they're doormen they're not allowed to let people in but it's like it, it's are uh, they still masking over there there's nothing no. no masks no nothing right now 
So, and Lila, you were like, you had not been back to the comedy store. What was it? Three, no, two years or something. Yeah. Last time I was there was a September of 2021. Crazy yeah. man. It was, it was genuinely nice to see some people I haven't, you know, obviously I haven't seen, but it was just such a weird feeling because I think a lot of people are just afraid to speak up on these things, which, you know, because as you see, it happens. If you speak up on these things, you can get censored, you know? So now I feel like the, the best thing is now people are starting to speak more. And I, like people have said better late than never, but it's like, yeah, where was this two years ago? Mm -hmm. But it's like, the point is just start speaking now. Right. You know, because we need to get out of this mess. Yeah. You, you 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 girls want to hear something crazy? Like I'm just I I'm feeling weird talking about this with you guys because I feel like you're we're on Anna's channel and I'm like Anna just I know dude. You I'm so paranoid Nina. I'm like fuck like I know where's the button <laughs> and you guys are there so I'm like are we on Anna's channel but we're on it's Christmas. Not, it's not me so I'm gonna switch back because I just had a uh, we were ordering food because we haven't eaten yet so I was. <laughs> Anna disavows everything Chris. So I over here like disavow, disavow, but it's okay. Okay, you want to switch back? Okay. Uh, We're gonna have pizza. We're gonna have pizza. What Jimmy. kind of pizza? I'm oh. <laughs> Pepperoni. Uh, Christy nailed it. Furby Slayer. Thanks for the 10. Christy nailed it. Where was uh this three years ago, two years ago, etc.? These people are trying to grift popularity. Same with the MSM, suddenly telling the true story from three years ago as if they are standing up. I know I, I feel very much mixed feelings because part of me goes, where the fuck were you? But on the other hand, I go, okay, like not everyone's dealing with the same information that you have. People are at different levels of brainwashed and different levels of red pilled and waking up in general. And it's you know different things trigger different people into finding out more and waking up so it's like all right i just try to i i'll just say this you know where they are this time last year uh, just a year ago i was so sad so depressed had gone through so much with just leaving california but now i look back on it all and i'm really grateful for everything that happened just in my own personal life because i wouldn't be here. I wouldn't have met Chrissy. I wouldn't have met Nina. I wouldn't have met Anna. I wouldn't be here. And I'm just really grateful for you guys and your bravery to speak truth. So Aww. we love you. Uh, I'm going to run inside and give Peaches cash for the tip. So I'm going to be right back. Okay. Pizza. Okay. I can't wait until your country becomes like actually normal so I can travel there. I don't know what you're at. David McCoy, okay. thanks for the super chat. Two years ago, it was done from their homes and it would never had aired. Oh. Yeah, I kind of I have less I guess I have less grace for celebrities because I'm like you guys have you're you're richer than all of us. You have you would think you'd be smarter, have more time, more resources. No, I don't know. Like if I can if we can figure out the truth, fucking celebrities should be able to find out the truth. And at this point it's like if they had been pushing it, they were paid to. Uh they'd been like kind of I don't know, I just feel like a lot of people are compromised and again like somebody said in the chat like yeah they're gonna do it now because it's trendy and because they think it's gonna help people go to their movie or you know sell tickets or sell whatever so i mean there's a lot more stuff i want to say but i just go nuts <laughs> um well i think a lot of people actually didn't didn't get the get the stuff that you know a lot of yeah. people had fake cards and it's you know it's talking about comedians yeah, yeah, comedians. And I think that's what I'm most disappointed about is as stand-up comedians, we're supposed to be the ones to speak out against establishment, to question, to make fun of everything. So the mm -hmm. fact that, uh, people didn't do that. And then, you know, it, it just stayed silent and went on to do shows and went on to do, do things where it's like this time last year, I could not get on any shows. The only time I was performing is anytime that Chrissy would hit me up. And so I would go from a, like three months, no shows, and then do a show with Chrissy. Whereas when I was living in LA pre pandemic, I was on stage every single night, three or four times a night. So it, wow. was, it was a lot, but you know, at the end of the day, I feel like I'm so much stronger and a lot more braver. And I really don't give a fuck. Yeah. And ladies, you know what this, this does too is like now, we're all smarter too, right? Like now we've, th this has happened to us before. We're not going to let it happen again. So the next time they're like, okay, we got to shut down now for climate change. Yeah. Uh, I hope you guys are going to be like, nah, fuck that shit. <laughs>